I'm going to talk about having good alignment in our Tai Chi and Qigong, good posture, neutral spine. So what is that? Starting off, pelvic tilt. Should we have a pelvic tilt? What is it anyway? Uh, and this is why I'm wearing um, these clothes. So I can illustrate it. Neutral. Neutral is going to be different for everyone. My neutral. Pelvic tilt, anterior tilt is that way, posterior tilt that way. So some of us talk about getting into a posterior tilt. I don't. I don't like to talk about that because then the intent is tilting the pelvis. That becomes your primary intent. We don't want that as the primary intent. So what do we want and where's your neutral? I have quite an arch. That's just the way I'm built. So my neutral might be here. Now to get in that, what I need to do often is actually give my low back a little bit of a stroke. To remind those low back muscles, you can lengthen and allow them to lengthen. Think of your sacrum, so you can't actually see it on these tights. Where is it angled? We want it just to go down, but we want it to we want to allow it to sink, not pull it down. So if I pull it down, I'm activating my abdominals here, I'm moving at the hip joint, I'm activating my glutes. If I allow it to sink by releasing, relaxing those low back muscles, that is quite a different intent. We might end up in a similar posture, but you'll have much less muscular activity if you are able to allow yourself to get in that posture. So at this lower end of the spine, we want to allow the sacrum to sink at the top end. We want to allow the bihai to rise, the crown, this acupressure point at the top of the head here. So we want these two to be in alignment. Again, I'm not going to say lift it because you're going to end up with tension. You're going to create, if you pull your chin back, you're going to create tension here. I feel tense, you probably look tense, but if you allow this to rise and you think about the natural curve in your neck, so from here, if I allow it, see it just gently comes into alignment without this great amount of tension here. And we've lengthened the back of the neck. Now it might be helpful for you to think, draw the chin back. The only problem with that is typically if I say that in class, just retract your chin a little, we see, we see that. Don't give yourself a double chin, be gentle. We're just talking little subtle amounts here that make a big difference to the alignment. So if you hold a lot of tension here, that is going to be grabbing on and you've got more of a curve. So can you allow your neck extensors to relax and allow the bihui to lift up? So we've got bihui up, we've got the sacrum down in between where are our shoulders? What we're aiming for, shoulders sitting at the side of the body. And if we were to just relax the arms, your hands would round about be facing inwards. If your natural position, for example, is there, you're probably a bit shortened across the front here, maybe a bit rounded in your upper back, can you very gently allow your shoulders to sit back again? 
So I like that terminology, allow your body to do it. If we try to just put it there, we try to do a pelvic tilt, we try to retract the chin, we're creating tension, but we're also creating a bit of a tug of war between these muscles. Do we want to do our qigong and tai chi in that posture? No, we've got enough tension in our lives. We want to relax during our Tai Chi and Qigong. We want to relax and flow, let that Qi flow, not set up more tension. We, we've got enough of that. So we want to relax and allow the body to come into this nice alignment. Just coming back to the core, Dantian, Ningmen. Ningmen here, back of your Dantian, we talk about opening the Mingman. What what does that mean? Well, it really means if I've got that arch going on, unless I release it, it's not open. If I can allow that to relax, fill up this space a little bit, now the Mingman is able to open. So we've got the Bai Hui, Sacrum down, Mingman open or very gently activated. How does all that work with the 70% rule? 70% of your maximum is what we should be aiming for. So taking both stance as an example, what's my 100%? Um, I don't want to go into it because I won't get out of it, but let's just say, let's say that's my 100%. Does that look comfortable? No way. Could I comfortably get out of it? No, no, no. What's my 70%? Well, that might be there. Something in reserve. I have strength that I can use if I want to. And here we've got that, hopefully, that nice neutral posture. If I go further than my 70%, I've lost it. I've shortened in the back. So we don't want to overdo the position. Now, 70% is the maximum, and you can absolutely do less than that. Today, I'm tired, achy. Okay, my bow stance might be there. Horse stance. Same thing. Where is it? Stepping out is always a good guide. If I go plonk, too big, much too big. Pull it back, you need to be able to step into it comfortably. Okay, and so today, for me, that's a good 70%. I'm not going to go any lower, I'm not going to go any wider. Neutral, relaxed, looking at needle at sea bottom. Where's my 70%? Is it down there? No, that's way too hard. So for me today, actually, no, nah, that's too low. I'm going to back off a bit here. For me today, there, there's my 70%. And I'm able to maintain that neutral posture, still open at the back. I do not have a pelvic tilt going down. I'm aiming for neutral. <sighs> Snake creeps down. How low are you going to go? Well, today, that's about it for me. That'll do. Neutral, comfortable, not setting up tension. Can I do a bit more on the other leg? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. So there, yeah, I've gone over my 70. I can feel that I'm going to have to work a bit hard to get out of it. So that's just a little bit too much. You've got to have a play. Work out what your 70% is so that you can maintain this nice alignment. And a couple of Qigong moves that I know many of my students are working on at the moment, the crouch, cross-legged sit. This one. How far down do you go? If, for example, I were to start to go like that and then I start going like that and then I'm like this, what's the point? I'm setting up tension. I'm creating tension. I've lost my good form. So 
if you can't go down there, don't make up for it by doing that. You're creating tension. It might be that that's as far as you go. And just a tip there, give yourself space. Give yourself space, put your weight on both feet. Okay, so today that's comfortable. I might do that in my form today. Other leg, can I go a bit lower? Actually, yeah, that knee's feeling pretty good today. I might go lower on the other leg. But keep that posture upright. So 70% maximum. Find out what that is for you. One more move that students are working on from the Moen Doi, the um, wild duck swimming, this beautiful one. Push. Here. Where's your 70%? Oof. So for me, that probably went over it. Let's have a go at the other side. Push the hips, maybe not so far. Okay, I'm only going to bend that, that amount. And then come down. That was a bit rough, but hopefully you get the idea. No matter what move you're doing, where is your 70%? Do you want to even go as far as 70%? Back off a little. Always have something in reserve. Don't be maxing yourself out. Good philosophy for Tai Chi and Qigong. Good philosophy for life. 